policy team, our drug policy team, who you know would have more information and knowledge about this situation than I would, give you a call back. All right. Well, that would be fine. My phone number is three six zero. It's a three six zero six six zero number. Yes, sir. You know, but there's a couple of complaints with it. The legislature is wrong. I mean, if it, if it if it didn't overlap each other and if there wasn't problems, then, you know, I wouldn't have these as, as valid complaints and neither would anyone else. Yes, but you're basically alleging that the state of Louisiana is intentionally withholding medicinal marijuana from people after having gone through a two-year debate about how in in the particulars the who what how and why of distributing it well a program and having well i mean that's just a, legislation. this is just sir this is just directly what representative talbot's administrative representative told me and i have screenshots of and as far as the law itself with the actual tax stamp with the controlled substances act being in the vernacular that it is this is a real issue and as far as you know the pharmacies being governed by only one one company in the entire state that does may in fact by definition make that a monopoly sir and i'm not discrediting anything that that you know louisiana has done in in any way but i'm saying you know maybe some of the, the the way that it's going you guys are going about this isn't necessarily what's going to be beneficial for everyone involved because this could turn out to be a tax evasion racketeering type plot now i have myself i have written something called amendment 28 and i've sent it to everyone and you know but I, you know, this is not an initiative, you know, initiative-based state. So I can't provide that to anyone. The only thing that I can do is give it to my reps and you know, pray that they listen to me. But getting someone to listen to me is about like, well, explaining this to you. I mean, you know, it's been kind of a little argumentative. I understand, sir. It's just you're you're basically accusing the state of not caring about people and not writing the law correctly. Well, it's a factual basis whenever the state didn't, whenever the state overlooked this piece, piece of legislature, according to 2096 versus the other one, you know, for, for, you know, for the actual medical access, whenever that they coincide over the same substance, we're talking about schedule one substance, you know, you know, that's federally schedule one. The only way to, 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 to fix that is, is to actually completely deny that through, you know, you know, what the federal state, you know, federal government has to say. And that's going to that's going to take an actual amendment to do. And then that way you can rewrite everything without having to deal with the overlap of all these acts or re-implement all these acts through, you know, after it's been implemented through an actual constitutional amendment, sir. I'm not saying anything. I mean, I've been an activist for a while. I've, I've, I've written law in different states. I, I've, you know, I've changed policies, you know, on city level. I've changed policies on county level in other states. You know, I've never done anything, you know, on parish level or in the state of Louisiana. But I did leave and I did do, do some lawmaking and some law changing in other states. And to come home and to, to see this as a, as, as a blatant oversight. You know, which is affecting patients, which is causing problems, which is causing a problem of access as well. And whenever you have a monopoly involved that is evading paying taxes and you, you see this entire thing, I, 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 I am totally compassionate. I'm a patient, man. I'm one, probably one of the first ones to have an actual prescription and, and recommendation who is honestly federally recognized, and, you know. I, there's, there's not many of me out there. I'm the great anomaly. Yes, sir. Your name? Joshua Havens. Spell your last name for me. H A B E N S. B is in Victor. All right, sir. I'll go ahead and get somebody from Trip Policy to speak with you regarding the issue. Right, thank wow. you.